What's up guys? I'm gonna show you a really easy, quick way to um, sort things, make collections. Might not be as fancy as like these collections out here that you see, but you can make a collection out of just about anything. So let me show you. First, you're gonna hit start. Come down here to game collection settings, okay? There's many different ways. First, you can go in here and choose which systems you have selected and which ones. These are just regular systems. I can see that when I made my new game list, I missed six uh, systems because I should have had 60 on there. Anyway, um, automatic collections. So these are ones that already have game lists. So you can click, you can enable one of these. See my CPS 1, 2, 3 collections right there. A lot of people are using the CPS folders and actually sorting their games out. You can just turn those on and it'll automatically pull the games from your MAME folder. You don't have to put separate ROMs into those CPS123 folders um, or any other of those. Uh, okay, so let's see. We got, you can do automatic collections by genre. We've got favorites selected. If you don't want that there, you can remove it. Um, let's see. You can do vertical games and that's going to automatically make a collection. Okay, I can show you here. Vertical, we'll go back and watch. Vertical Arcade, okay? I don't have a video in there for it. That's because all my stuff's custom on this end, but you will. And then you've just got all your vertical shooter games in here, just like that, okay? Collections, okay. Automatic collections. I'm going to go back in and get rid of that because I don't want it. But that was just a example. See, I've got beat em ups, shoot em ups. You can do any racing, whatever you want to do. Okay, those are the really easy ones. And then you got your arcade systems down here. So any collection you want on here, you can add. If you have a MAME set in your MAME ROMs folder, you can click on any of these arcade collections and it'll just show up and work you don't have to separate roms or anything like that okay custom games game collections you can name a collection whatever you want okay and then you can go through your game lists or you can search that way and add each one of those to your collection okay or you, the easy way to do that really is this though go down here to dynamic collection okay so here, hold on. Let me, that's skipping a couple steps. I'm going to show you this one. So create a new custom collection from the theme. So each theme has, um, well, maybe not all of them, but they have custom collections that the theme creator added on their own. And I can, sh it, only the theme folders that are in that theme, the, the systems that it supports, are the only ones that are going to be able to show up here. Okay. But these are not automatically. Uh, populated with games. You have to go through and select what games you want. So, for example, I could go 19XX, which is referring to like the 1943, 1944 games. I go in here and there's no games, right? So what I would have to do is go to my main collection. Or whatever. You, they're in lots of different systems. MAME, Nintendo... Um, Amiga, like all these have versions of 1943. Okay, but you go here, you long press that game, add to 19XX. Long press this game, add to 19XX. Long press this game, add to 19XX. You get the idea. We're going to go through and add them because I might actually li like to have this. Okay, and then I can go, and this can do multiple systems too. So I'm going to go, I've got MAME in there. Now I'm going to go, let's go, let's see. I can probably find a whole bunch of them. See, you can just go in here and find them in there, but I'm just trying to show you an example. So I'm going to skip that part. We're going to go into Nintendo. Let's see, so I can also add the Nintendo versions and it'll tell you which ones are which. 
Okay. Now I'm in Super Nintendo. We do have some. Is it Super Graphics? Yep, there's the Super Graphics version. We'll add that. Uh, here's the PC Engine version. We'll add that. Nothing in 3DO. Nothing in Master System. Oh, I thought for sure Mega Drive had one. Okay. So you get the point. Now we can go to our collection and all those games we added are going to be in here and again I don't have a video because my videos are custom I don't know if you saw that vi that video that I uploaded but um, you will it'll automatically pull videos from those games and play them on the screen okay or at least it should here let's see we made this new list I bet we have to refresh the game list to get it to to get the art to show up. See, here we go. Now we have the art. And all your games are there and it tells you which system it's for. It's really, really handy, okay? Now, I'm going to show you another way to do some similar things, okay? Name of a new collection. We're going to call it uh let's just do something simple mario okay that's the name of our collection now you can do this by genre players kids games all you see all the different thing regions you can make japanese collections and stuff in here without even having to uh, actually make a collection but if we go to find games i can type in a search term here Okay, so we're just going to type in Mario. And any game that has the word Mario in it is going to show up on our collection. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to go back, back again, and I'll show you how this works. See, it'll give you this collections tile here. And then I can click on that, and each collection you make will be listed here. You only see one because I only have one. So I can click on Mario. See? And it'll sh every single game that has the word Mario in it from every different system is already here. So if you want to create a collection for your kids or something, they like a certain character or whatever, you can do it right here. It's super easy. Okay, I even got DS, Game Boy Advanced, every Mario game. Look, there's a lot of them. Okay. Really cool, really easy to do. Let's see, Let's see if there's anything I'm missing. I think that's about all I've got down so far. Yep. So I hope that helps some of you. Enjoy. Have a good day. Let me know what you think.